Object Oriented Programming OOP, technique is one of the programming approaches used by the programmers to develop a different web and mobile applications. It is basically based on the principle of class, object, data hiding, abstraction, encapsulation, modularity, inheritance and polymorphism. Many of the most widely used programming languages are multi-paradigm programming languages that support object-oriented programming to a greater or lesser degree, typically in combination with imperative, procedural programming. Most object-oriented languages include C++, C Hash, Java, Python, PHP, JavaScript, Ruby, Perl, Object Pascal, Swift, Objective-C, Dart, Scala, Smalltalk and Lisp. What is OOPS? OOPS stand for Object Oriented Programming System. It is the programming language technique to write programs based on the real world object each object is nothing but an instance of a class. Object means a real world entity such as a pen, chair, table, computer, watch, etc. What are the concepts of OOPS? Some concepts of OOPS are Object Class Abstraction Encapsulation Inheritance Polymorphism Association Composition Aggregation Object cloning and more. Can you define object? Object concept is termed as a specific instance of a class where the object can be combined of data structures, functions and variables, its own state, behavior and identity. Can you define class? A class is simply a representation of a type of object or collections of object are called class. It is the blueprint form or plan or template that describes the details of an object. Can you define abstraction? It is the concept of hiding the internal details and describing things in simple terms. Write an example of abstraction class and method in Java. In class. Abstract class A. In method. Abstract void prints dot is, slash slash no method body and abstract slash slash. Can you define encapsulation? Encapsulation is concept of hiding of data implementation by restricting access to public methods. In other words, an attribute of an object and it contains all data which is hidden. That hidden data can be restricted to the members of that class. Levels are public, private, protected internal and protected internal. Write an example of encapsulation in Java. In Java, variable name job is kept private or encapsulated. Slash slash save as job.java. Public class job. Private string name. Public string get name. Return name. Public void set name, string name. This dot name equals name. Slash slash save as test.java. Class test. Public static void main, string, args, job s equals new job. S dot set name interview gig. System. Out dot print on, s dot get name. Output, interview gig. Can you define polymorphism? Simply, polymorphism means one name many different forms. It is nothing but assigning behavior or value in a subclass to something that was already declared in the main class. There are two types in polymorphism. Static polymorphism, it is achieved using method overloading. Dynamic polymorphism, it is using method overriding. Write an example of polymorphism in Java. In Java, we have two classes, person and employee. The employee class inherits from the person class by using the keyword extends. Here child class overrides the parent class. Class person. Void walk, system dot out dot print on, can run. Class employee extends person. Void walk, system dot out dot print on, running fast. Public static void main, string arg, person p equals new employee. p dot walk. Can you define inheritance? Inheritance is a concept where one class shares the structure and behavior defined in another class. If inheritance applied on one class is called single inheritance, and if it depends on multiple classes, then it is called multiple inheritances. What is the syntax of inheritance in Java? 
In Java, inheritance can be used the extends keyword. Class interview. Class gig extends interview. What is the main difference between an object-based programming language and object-oriented programming language? Object-oriented programming is to implement all concepts like object, abstraction, inheritance, classes, polymorphism etc. Object-based programming language follows all the concepts of OOPS except inheritance such as JavaScript, VBScript. Can you define association? It is relationship between two objects with a multiplicity. Can you define composition? Composition is about expressing relationships between objects. A chair example, a chair has a seat. A chair has a back. And a chair has a set of legs. The phrase has implies a relationship where the chair owns, or at minimum, uses, another object. It is this has a relationship which is the basis for composition. Can you aggregation? Aggregation is also known as has a relationship. Aggregation is a special type of association. In aggregation, objects have their own life cycle but there is an ownership. Whenever we have has a relationship between objects and ownership then it's a case of aggregation. What, what is object cloning? The object is a way to create exact copy of an object. The clone method of object class is used to clone an object. What are manipulators? Manipulators are the functions which can be used in conjunction with the insertion and extraction operators on an object. Examples are endlin set. Can you define constructor? It is a method used to initialize the state of an object, and it gets invoked at the time of object creation. Rules for constructor are, constructor name should be same as class name and constructor must have no return type. Can you define destructor? It is a method which is automatically called when the object is made of scope or destroyed. Destructor name is also same as class name but with a tilde symbol before the name. Can you define inline function? Inline function is a technique used by the compilers and instructs to insert complete body of the function wherever that function is used in the program source code. Can you define virtual function? Virtual function is a member function of class and its functionality can be overwritten in its derived class. This function can be implemented by using a keyword called virtual, and it can be given during function declaration. Virtual function can be achieved in C++, and it can be achieved in C language by using function pointers or pointers to function. Can you define abstract class? An abstract class is a class which cannot be instantiated. Creation of an object is not possible with abstract class, but it can be inherited. An abstract class can contain only abstract method. Can you define interface? An interface is a collection of abstract method. If the class implements an inheritance, and then thereby inherits all the abstract methods of an interface. Can you explain friend function? Friend function is a friend of a class that is allowed to access to public, private or protected data in that same class. If the function is defined outside the class cannot access such information. Friend can be declared anywhere in the class declaration, and it cannot be affected by access control keywords like private, public or protected. Can you explain function overloading? Function overloading is defined as a normal function but it has the ability to perform different tasks. It allows creation of several methods with the same name which differ from each other by type of input and output of the function. Example Void addint and a, int and b. Void add double and a, double and b. Void add struct bob and a, struct bob and b. Can you explain ternary operator? Ternary operator is said to be an operator which takes three arguments. Arguments and results are of different data types, and it is depending on the function. Ternary operator is also called as conditional operator. Can you explain operator overloading? Operator overloading is a function where different operators are applied and depends on the arguments. Operator can be used to pass through the function, and it has their own precedence to execute. Example Class complex Double real Imag, public, complex double R, double I, real R. Imag I, 
Complex operator plus complex A, complex B. Complex operator, complex A, complex B. Complex and operator equals complex A, complex B. A equals 1.2, B equals 6. Can you explain the finalize method? Finalize method helps to perform cleanup operations on the resources which are not currently used. Finalize method is protected, and it is accessible only through this class or by a derived class. What are different types of arguments? A parameter is a variable used during the declaration of the function or subroutine and arguments are passed to the function, and it should match with the parameter defined. There are two types of arguments. Call by value. Value passed will get modified only inside the function, and it returns the same value whatever it is passed it into the function. Call by reference. Value passed will get modified in both inside and outside the functions and it returns the same or different value. Can you explain super keyword? Super keyword is used to invoke overridden method which overrides one of its super class methods. This keyword allows to access overwritten methods and also to access hidden members of the superclass. It also forwards a call from a constructor to a constructor in the superclass. Can you explain method overriding? Method overriding is a feature that allows subclass to provide implementation of a method that is already defined in the main class. This will override the implementation in the superclass by providing the same method name same parameter and same return type. Can you explain exception handling? Exception is an event that occurs during the execution of a program. Exceptions can be of any type, runtime exception, error exceptions. Those exceptions are handled properly through exception handling mechanism like try, catch and throw keywords. Can you explain tokens? Token is recognized by a compiler and it cannot be broken down into component elements. Keywords, identifiers, constants, string literals and operators are examples of tokens. Even punctuation characters are also considered as tokens, brackets, commas, braces, and parentheses. What is the difference between overloading and overriding? Overloading is static binding whereas overriding is dynamic binding. Overloading is nothing but the same method with different arguments, and it may or may not return the same value in the same class itself. Overriding is the same method names with same arguments and return types associates with the class and its child class. What is the difference between class and an object? An object is an instance of a class. Objects hold any information, but classes don't have any information. Definition of properties and functions can be done at class and can be used by the object. Class can have subclasses, and an object doesn't have subobjects. What is the difference between structure and a class? Structure default access type is public, but class access type is private. A structure is used for grouping data whereas class can be used for grouping data and methods. Structures are exclusively used for data and it doesn't require strict validation, but classes are used to encapsulate and inherit data which requires strict validation. Can you define abstraction? Abstraction is a good feature of OOPS, and it shows only the necessary details to the client of an object. Means, it shows only necessary details for an object, not the inner details of an object. What are access modifiers? Access modifiers determine the scope of the method or variables that can be accessed from other various objects or classes. There are five types of access modifiers, and they are as follows. Private Protected Public Friend Protected friend Can you explain sealed modifiers? Sealed modifiers are the access modifiers where it cannot be inherited by the methods. Sealed modifiers can also be applied to properties, events and methods. This modifier cannot be applied to static members. How can we call the base method without creating an instance? Yes, it is possible to call the base method without creating an instance. And that method should be, static method. Doing inheritance from that class. Use base keyword from derived class. What is the difference between new and override? 
The new modifier instructs the compiler to use the new implementation instead of the base class function. Otherwise, override modifier helps to override the base class function. What are the various types of constructors? There are three various types of constructors, and they are as follows. Default constructor, with no parameters. Parametric constructor, with parameters. Create a new instance of a class and also passing arguments simultaneously. Copy constructor, this creates a new object as a copy of an existing object. What is early and late binding? Early binding refers to assignment of values to variables during design time whereas late binding refers to assignment of values to variables during runtime. What is this pointer? This pointer refers to the current object of a class. This keyword is used as a pointer which differentiates between the current object with the global object. Basically, it refers to the current object. What is the default access modifier in a class? The default access modifier of a class is private by default. Can you explain pure virtual function? A pure virtual function is a function which can be overwritten in the derived class but cannot be defined. A virtual function can be declared as pure by using the operator equals zero. Example. Virtual void function 1 slash slash virtual, not pure. Virtual void function 2 equals 0 slash slash pure virtual. What are all of the operators that cannot be overloaded? Following are the operators that cannot be overloaded. Scope resolution. Member selection. Member selection through a pointer to function. Why Java is does not support multiple inheritances. Java is a simple programming language and multiple introduced complexities such as diamond problem. Inheriting stages from two different type of classes is a case which is in reality very rare and it can be achieved easily through an object association. What are the pros of OOPS programming? It is simplicity. It is modularity. It is modifiability. It is extensibility. It is maintainability. It is reusability. Effective problem solving, like share and comment. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click the bell button for latest updates.